Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be going back into the Amazon tool deals for the week and I really hope you guys enjoy. This is either going to be tools that are on sale, tools that even at their full price I believe to be good deals, or tools I find to be interesting and would like your guys' opinion on if you guys have used them. So first up, getting right into this, we are looking at a Chicago pneumatic metric and SAE thin wall lug nut socket set. You can find these from multiple different brands in multiple different sizes, but this is probably one of the largest sets I've found for a good price. So the smaller sets usually run, you know, $30-ish. If you look at the smaller sets down here, you see this five-piece set for $40, this five-piece set for $33. You know, you can find them all over for around that size, around that price, but this one is an 11-piece set both metric and SAE and there's great things about this set or lug nut socket sets in general so if you have extremely nice wheels or if you just have wheels with smaller lug nut openings these sockets will allow you to get in there where a normal impact socket wall is a little too thick and you end up either damaging the rim by rubbing on it or you can't get the socket in there in general and you may end up having to use a chrome socket this allows you to use these sockets with the protective plastic shield around the outside to protect the rim or you can take the plastic sheathing off and it allows you to really get into tight locations so not only are these good for lug nuts but other situations as well um, now keep in mind these are extremely thin wall impact sockets so they're not meant for extremely high torque uh, on the impact but they can still be very useful in multiple different locations. Now this set is $88, it's not on sale, so it is quite a bit more than a lot of the other sets you have. So if you know exactly what you're gonna be working on and you know the size that you'll need, probably don't need this set. Now if you work on a wide range of uh, vehicles and you deal with multiple different sizes and this set may be handy, Harbor Freight also has an 11 piece set for $80. But that set is nine sockets and two extensions. This is strictly 11 sockets. So a uh, much more complete set um, for $8 more, basically. So this has four and a half stars at 371 ratings. And I'll just quickly show you the sizes included. So here are the sizes included if you would like to pause and take a look. But they are uh, chrome Ollie impact sockets and color coded. And that plastic sheathing can be removed. So all around, a great little set. But once again, it's a little bit more expensive, but you're getting a, a larger set. There's not many on the market of this size, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Have you guys even used a thin wall impact socket set before, or have you been considering one? And if so, which one are you considering? Next up is a SATA product. So they have a few different ones. This one was on sale. They're constantly rotating through the SATA stuff. Not only SATA is made by the same company as GearWrench, so they have a lot of the same tools and SATA may have a few things that GearWrench doesn't, and GearWrench has a lot that SATA doesn't, but you can still find a lot of good deals. Um, if you're looking at like a GearWrench product, check SATA and see if they have it because it's normally a, a pretty decent percentage lower in cost than the GearWrench stuff. The, the warranty process is supposed to be the same. They carry the same warranty, but I haven't used a SATA warranty process to know if it's as easy as a GearWrench, but it is supposed to have the same warranty. Uh, so you can actually save quite a bit of money, but they're constantly rotating through the SATA tools that they've been pushing a lot more on Amazon and other websites. So not only can you find them cheaper, but you can find them on deals a lot more often. So this one was just on sale. Now I think they have the T handle on sale, one of these sets. So here, the 26 piece set is on sale at $26 down from $30, 85 ratings at four and a half stars. So a good little set if you're looking for a ratcheting bit screwdriver or anything like that. They have a few different designs here just so you can quickly see some of the different designs. So definitely a, a good little set all around the $25 price range for all of these sets. So not bad. You get some extensions, some flexible extensions, and a variety of different bits. So for the size, I think it's a good little set. Uh, you're basically paying for these a dollar a piece. So... Not bad, let me know your guys' thoughts, and if you guys have used SATA tools, what are your thoughts on them as well? Next up is a Duratech product. I have very little experience with Duratech. I've picked up a few things and used them here and there way back in the day, 
um, but I've added them through my videos over the last few months and I've had pretty good response from DIYers and those getting into the professional field that have had good experiences with a majority of their products so I figured I'll keep throwing them in and I really like to hear your guys feedback on the positives and negatives of each item um, so the ratchets I mean they're 90 tooth but they're your generic design a little bit bigger bulkier um, you know not the best ratchets but they'll do um, you know maybe not heavy duty use day in and day out but this is probably a pretty decent set to begin with and then if you ever have issues with like the ratchet or anything you can always upgrade that that's no big deal because the pricing really isn't bad at 119 dollars uh, it's got four and a half stars at 55 ratings so not a whole lot but it is rated pretty well so everything that's included you do get quite a bit of the allens which is just kind of a filler but other than that you got you know a cheap little bit screwdriver and some bits that they include in a lot of these cheaper sets but then you have a good variety of different wrenches of both metric and SAE and then same thing with the sockets it is all shallow sockets and they are 12 point so here's just kind of a look at their organization so if you have the space these types of organizers are some of my favorite, but if you don't have the space, they do tend to take up a lot of space because everything's laying down like the wrenches. If they stood them up on their sides, it would save a lot of space. You kind of get everything closer, but if you have the space, they're still good organizers. You can kind of see how they have the layout for the ratchets, extensions, and bits, and all that miscellaneous stuff. You got a couple spark plug sockets in there, and then the, the socket organizer, obviously you can tell there's quite a bit of space in there, so that does tend to take up quite a bit of space but it is organized very nicely easy to see if anything's missing with that uh, neon kind of undercoating underneath of it so I just thought it was kind of cool I know a lot of people are interested in that type of organizer and uh, if you're not looking for super high-end tools and you're just a DIYer I'm sure this would uh, be a pretty good way to start out now obviously they're not gonna have every size that you need um, it does skip quite a bit not saying that it skips sizes in between but you know it starts at 8 and goes up to 18 I believe possibly maybe 19 so 19 on the sockets and 7 8 on the SAE the wrenches go up to 19 millimeter and 3 quarters so SAE is kind of lacking but if you don't use a lot of SAE that might be okay with you but even 19 8 to 19 is kind of your generic wrench sizes that you would most commonly use, but you'd probably want to expand outside of that. But other than that, I thought for $118, it's not a bad deal. So here we are looking at the Gear Wrench 20 piece master screwdriver set. Now I have this exact same set, but the old discontinued version, as you can see here, it is selling for $80. I want to say I roughly paid 70, 70 or 75 for it. Um, and I know when they were coming out with the new gear wrench colors and handles and everything, they were pushing the prices up on the old design and lower on the new design. Now they're kind of leveling out, so you can still get these in most cases uh, for roughly the same price. So if you prefer the old design, you can. You might want to get it while you can before it's completely gone. Um, but I've had mine for over six years, and they've been fantastic. Comes in a nice little organizer and everything. But we'll just strictly look at the new set, which is at $77.97. It's got five stars at 1,938 ratings, so rated very highly. Here you can see the flatheads, Phillips, stubbies, and your precision screwdrivers. And then you have a couple of Torx in there as well. So I believe down here they will have a listing of all the sizes included. If you would like to pause and take a look. And the Torx are T15 and T20. The handle design, um, I haven't personally used this handle design. I have a lot of the old style red handles, which I, I like. They're a little bit more rounded than I think. I think with these new handles, they gave them more of a trilobe design. The, f the forward grip on it is more of a rubberized round portion, but I think the back of the handle is a little bit more of a, a trilobe than the old design. And uh, it's more up to date with their kind of goldish yellow and black color scheme. But overall, the screwdriver set has been fantastic for the price. Um, a nice complete set. They do have the rotating caps on the back of the precision screwdrivers. I use the stubbies a lot, and they're fantastic. I do notice that on the back side, 
they do seem to have more of a flat back than a rounded back. Overall, I think it's a good design. I'm not sure. I would never swap out this set that I have for this set. But if I didn't have this set, it's definitely one that I would consider for sure. Um, so if you guys have picked up this new gear wrench set, please let me know your guys' thoughts. Uh, other than that, you know, not a whole lot of things on sale in this video. The SATA tool, really. But definitely still some good items at a good price that I believe to be good deals. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any brand or any kind of specific tool that you would like to see in these videos, please drop a comment down below as well as your thoughts on these that were included in this video. But I will have these items plus many other tools that I suggest linked down in the description under the tools and tools continued link. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.